Usually, an advertising truck will install a display screen on each of the three sides of the box, powered by an onboard generator or battery pack, which can be used while driving. The car comes with a mains plug, which can be plugged in when parking, optional screen lift system, and folding stage. To understand the LED advertising truck, let's start with the most basic. We encapsulate the three light emitting units of red, blue and green into the same lamp bead. By adjusting the brightness of the three lamp beads, we can mix the color we need. Then, such lamp beads are regularly arranged and combined to form a lamp bead array. Then, by controlling the brightness of the lamp beads to display our preset content, such as this. Don't forget, the lamp beads can change the color. We further increase the bead density of the array, so we get a LED unit board. And so on, adding more lamp beads, you can get a higher resolution unit board. Usually the P3 and P4 unit boards have 64 lamp beads as the side length. P5 and P6 unit boards mostly use 32 lamp beads as the side length. We use the dot spacing between the lamp bead and the lamp bead to name the unit board. For example, the dot pitch is 6mm, then it is the P6 display. The final display screen is formed by splicing a certain number of unit boards. Next, we drove the truck to the workshop, disassembled the cargo box, and talked about the structure and principle of the LED display. For the convenience of explanation, I will use a relatively simple backdoor as an example. Flip the rear tailgate and open the back panel to see the internal structure of the LED screen. Before explaining the principle, we first introduce two key originals. Power Supply Receiving Card The power supply converts the 220V alternating current output by the generator into 5V direct current to supply power to the unit board and the receiving card. The receiving card receives the data signal from the computer or video processor through the network cable and transmits it to the LED unit board through the cable to display the desired screen. The power supply is usually connected in parallel and the receiving card is connected in series on the back of the screen. Let's go back in time to before opening the rear tailgate. If part of the unit board is not bright or the color is abnormal. Generally, it is caused by the looseness of the power cable and the plug of the cable of the corresponding unit board, and the problem can be solved after re-strengthening. Next, let's take a look at how the screen is connected. Usually, the default factory state is that one computer is connected in series with three screens. There are many ways to connect three screens in series. Generally, we decide the order of series according to the needs. If we want to play live broadcast or play TV games while playing advertising video content, we only need to add another video processor to achieve. According to this wiring method, the use of each screen can be arbitrarily arranged. Seeing this, everyone should be able to understand. Although each screen has multiple receiving cards in series, only the leftmost and rightmost receiving cards in the link are used to connect external devices and other screens. We only need to connect the screens in series according to our own needs, or just connect the device to the corresponding screen. There are various combinations to play. Do you know how to connect the device and screen? 